I'm preparing a presentation to dental students about a portion of the ADEX exam that has to do with access cavities. And what I want to show them is what an unacceptable or critically deficient access cavity is like and how it's evaluated in terms of, uh, of being acceptable or critically deficient. So I want to compare this image that you see here with this image uh, here. And this image shows us an outline and it has dimensions, but uh, I'm going to start first with this image. So one of the things that you can do in PowerPoint without getting, without having to go to Photoshop or Photoshop Elements is you can highlight the picture, uh, picture tools will come up, formatting, and you can go to corrections. And in corrections you have a number of choices as far as where you want to take an image, if it's too light or it's too dark. And I'm going to move the image, I think just about here, it's going to make it a little bit lighter. And it's just going to stay like that and that's fine. So now that this is lighter, what I want to do is I want to insert an image over this. I'm going to insert that other image over this. Now I have a copy of that image in another file. So what I need to do is go to home if I'm not there. I'm going to take a box and I'm going to draw a box around this image. Now what I'm going to do is, this is a solid fill. It's solid blue because that's the way I'm defaulted at, at the moment. I'm going to fill it with a picture or texture fill. This is a picture from a previous slide that I was working with. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to open up the file that has all the images that I'm using in this presentation. I'm going to pick out the one I want, which is X is Deficient. And so that's this one right here. So I'm going to pick the image from, that is measured from axis size, and it says Deficient. I'm going to click on that, and that's going to come into my uh, in, into the PowerPoint. Now you can see that there's a size differential between the two and that's not a big deal to fix. First thing I'm going to do is rotate this so I can uh, get the incisal edge at the same height. I'm going to drag this down a little bit so it's stretching the image that I brought in to try and overlay it. I'm going to stretch it out this way looking that the marginal ridges are about the same and you may have to putz with this a little bit uh, to get it just the way you want it. i stretch this out a little bit more. And maybe, uh, actually it's not real too bad. It doesn't have to be exact for our purposes here. Uh, but still I'm going to uh, drag it out just, uh, maybe not. Maybe just bring it down a little bit more. And essentially I have a pretty good overlay uh, I don't have to, again, bring it into Photoshop and do a lot more work. This is pretty simple and, and quick to do. And what I'm demonstrating, what I need to demonstrate here, the axis cavity, the way it's here, is, is beyond the confines of what is minimally acceptable. So anything outside of this is going to be uh, critically deficient. So the other things I want to do is hide the fact that I've rotated this. So I'm going to take uh, another block. I'm going to draw another block around here. Again, it defaults to blue. I'm going to go to Solid Fill and change it to black. I'm going to get rid of the lines. I don't want any lines on that. I'm then going to duplicate the block by hitting Control D and just take the other duplicate the other side. And basically, you have a second image. You can dissolve this different ways. You can bring one into the other or you can just show this. I mean, there, there's a lot of options in terms of what you want to do. If you need to go back and even adjust this some more to make yourself happier, uh, you can do that. And it, it's still going to remain uh, about the same. And it's going to look pretty good when you project it. So now with this arrangement, you have several different options in how you may want to use it. Now say you forgot to leave the original alone. That's not a problem. Here's the original. I'm going to control, I'm clicking on it, control D to duplicate it. I'm going to click on each, each one or the other, so I'm click on this one or this one here. I'm going to go, I'm going to select all, everything that's on that screen. I'm going to delete everything that's there. And I'm going to move the overlay out. I'm going to delete that. 
So now I have the original image. So now in your presentation, and we just do this with, I like to use as a transition, I like to use fade. So let's look at the image that has the absolute outline. So here's what it's, what it's like. You know, it's less than three millimeters from uh, the edge here, less than a millimeter from the margin here, less than two from the inside of the ledge. And that's the criteria that's specified in the manual. And then I'd like to show what uh, the tooth, a tooth or an inappropriate uh, access looks like, and this would be considered a critical deficiency or a failure for the exam. And then I can bring in the out outlier. Now this just kind of clicked in, and I think a nicer effect would be uh, if, if I did a transition, a fade transition. So doing that again, and one thing you have to do is try your transitions over and over again. You know, I think it gives a nice effect. And as I'm looking at it here, I'm thinking maybe it's a little too heavy, it's a little too much. I can just take it, uh, go to my filling again, change the transparency so that it's maybe a little lighter. And then I can do it again. There is the inappropriate axis cavity and this is again looking at the outline of it. You can also do one other thing that I like a lot is I'll take this slide again, I'll duplicate it. So this is a slide, I'll get rid of this and then you can show a sequence if you like where we show the, uh, the criteria for the axis cavity which is if it's greater than this it's, it's uh, critically deficient then we go to what a critically deficient tooth looks like. We fade in the overlay. And then for additional discussion, if you like, you can fade the overlay out. 